Chapter 4. The ITIL Service Value System. The ITIL Service Value System. Chapter Content. Service Value System Overview. Folder 2. The ITIL Guiding Principles. Folder 3. Governance. Folder 4. Service Value Chain. Folder 5. Continual Improvement. Service Value System Overview. Guiding Principles. Governance. Service Value Chain. Opportunity Demand. Value. Practices. Continual Improvement. Service Value System Overviews The ITIL SVS Service Value System describes how all the components and activities of the organization work together as a system to enable value creation. Each organization SVS has interface with other organizations forming an ecosystem that can, can in turn facilitate value for those organization, organizations their customers and other stakeholders. The key inputs for the SBS are opportunity and demand. Opportunities represent options or possibilities to add, add value for stakeholders or other imp otherwise improve the organization. Demand is need, need or desire for product and services among internal and external consumers. The outcome of the SBS service value system. Service value system is value. That is the perceived benefits, usefulness, and the importance of something. The ITIS SVS can enable the creation of the many different types of value for a wide group of stakeholders. Service Value System Overview The ITIR SVS includes the following components Guiding Principles, Governance, Service Value Chain, Practices, Continual Improvement. The ITIR Guiding Principles the Guiding principle is a recommendation that guides an organization in all circumstances, regardless of changes in each course, strategies, type of work, or management structure. A guiding principle is user, universal and enduring. Guiding principle focus on value, description, everything that the organization does, does need to map directly or indirectly, to value for the stakeholders. The focus on value principle encompasses many pr perspectives including the experience of the customer and users. Consideration for applying the principle. Who is a service consumer? The consumer perspective value. Why consumers need the service? How service help them to achieve their goals, cost, risk? The customer experience. The customer experience CX can be defined as the entity, entirety of the interactions or cons Customer has with the organization and each product. The, this experience can determine how the customer feels about the organization and each product and services. Start where we are. Don't start from scratch and build build something new without considering what is already available to be leveraged. There is likely to be greater deal in the current services, processes, programs, projects, and the people that can be used to create the, the desired outcomes. The current state should be investigated and observed directly to make sure it is fully understood. Observation should be supported by measurement. The use of measurement is important in this, in this principle. Measurement should, however, should however support but not, not replace what is observed, as over-reliance on data anal analytics and the report can unintentionally introduce, introduce bias and risk in decision making. Progressive iterative read feedback. Do not attempt to do everything at once. And even huge initiatives must be accomplished iteratively by organizing works into smaller, manageable sections that can be executed and completed in a timely manner. It is easy to maintain a sharp, sharper focus on each effort. Using feedback before, throw out, and after each iteration will ensure that actions are focused and appropriate, even if circumstances change. Collaborate and promote visibility. Working together across the boundaries and involve the right people in the correct roles to produce results that have greater buy-in more relevance to objectives and increase the likelihood of long-term success because their their better better information is available for decision making. Achieve ob achieving objectives requires information, understanding, and trust. Work and consequences should be made visible, hidden edges 
agendas avoided and the information shared to the greatest degree possible. Same can work holistically, no service or element used to provide a service stand alone. The outcomes achieved by the service provider and the service consumer will suffer, suffer unless the organization works on the service as a whole, not just on each part. Results are delivered to internal and external customers through the effective and efficient management and dynamic integration, integration of information technology, organization, people, practice, partners, and the agreement which should all be coordinated, coordinated to provide a defined value. Keep it simple and practical. If a process service action or metric fails to provide a value or produce a useful outcome eliminated in a process or procedure, use minimum number of steps necessary to accomplish the objectives. Always use outcome-based thinking to produce practical solutions that delivers result, de deliver result. Optimize and automate. Resources of all types, particularly HR, should be used to their best effect. Eliminate anything that is truly wasteful and use technology to achieve whatever it is capable, capable of. Human intervention should only happen where it is contributed value. Before an activity can be effectively automated, it should be optimized to whatever degree is possible and responsible, reasonable. The starting point of optimization is understanding the vision and the objectives of organization. The principle recommends using technology only when it provides a clear benefit optimization. Process of improving and increasing the efficiency of process or service. Automation. Using of technology to perform a steps, step or series of steps correctly and consistently with limited or no human involvement. Governance, the means by which an organization is directed and controlled. All size and types of organization perform the governance activities. The governing body may be, may be board of directors or executive managers who take on, on a separate governance role when they are performing governance activities. The governance body is accountable for the organization's compliance with the policy and any external regulations. Governance is realized through the follow, following activities. Evaluate. The evaluation of the organization is its strategy, portfolios, and relationships with other parties. Direct the governing body assigned responsibility for and directed the preparation and the implementation of organizational strategy and policies. Monitor. The governing body monitors the performance of the organizations and each practices, product, and services. This is to ensure that performance is in accordance with policies and directions. The service value chain. Demand, engage, obtain, and value. Deliver and support. Design and transition. Product and services value. The service value chain. So it is a central element of the SBS. It is uh, it outlines all the key activities required to respond to demand and facilitate the value realization through the creation and the management of products and services. The six value chain activities are plan, improve, engage, design and transition, obtain and build, deliver and support. Each activity transfer input and out input into outputs. These inputs can be demanded from outside the value chain or outputs or of other activities. The service value chain, the converting input into outputs, the value chain activities use different combinations of ITIL practices. Practices are covered in Chapter 5. There are some common rules when using the service value chain or incoming and outgoing iteration interactions with parties external to the services value chain are performed, performed via engage. All new resources are obtained through obtain and build. Planning at all levels are, is performed via plan. Improvement at all levels are, are initiative, initiated and managed via improve. The purpose of the plan value chain activity is to ensure, ensure a shared understanding of the vision, current status, and the improvement direction for all four dimensions and and all product and services across the organization. The purpose of the improve 
value chain activity is to ensure a continual improvement pr of product, service, and practices across the across all value chain activities and the four, the four dimensions of service management. The purpose of the engage engage value chain activities is to provide a good understanding of stakeholder stakeholder need, transparency, and the continual engagement and the good relationship with all stakeholders. The purpose of the design and transition value chain activities is to ensure that product and service continually meet the stakeholder expectations for quality, cost, and time to market. The purpose of the obtain and build value chain activity is to ensure that service components are available when and where they are needed and meet upgrade specifications. The purpose of deliver and support value chain activity is to ensure that services are delivered and supported according to agreed specifications and stakeholders' expectations. The ITI continual improvement model can be used as a high-level guide support improvement initiatives. Use the model increase the likelihood that ITI SM service management initiatives will be successful, put a strong focus on customer value and ensures the improvement effort, effort can be linked back to the organization's vision. The model supports iterative approach to improvement, diving, dividing work into manageable pieces with separate goals that can be achieved incrementally. What is the vision? Where are we now? Where, where do we want to be? How do we get there? Take a did we get there? Business vision, mission, goals, and objectives. Perform baseline assessment. Define measurable targets. Define improvement plans. Executive improve actions. Imp evaluate metrics and KPIs. Continual improvement. What is the vision? Each improvement initiative should support the organization's goals and objectives. The first step of the continual improvement model is to define the vision of the initiative. The this provides context, context for the for all subject decisions and link individual actions to the organization's vision for the future. Step where step two, where are we now? The success of the improvement initiatives depends on clear and accurate understanding of the starting point and the impact of the initiatives. An improvement is thought thought as journey from point A to point B, and step. This step clearly defines what point A looks like. A journey cannot be mapped out if the starting point is not known. Step 3. Where do we want to be? Just as, as step 2 describes point A on the improvement journey, step 3 outlines what point B, the target stage for the next step of the journey. Should the room like A journey cannot be mapped out if the destination is not clear? How do we get there? The, the plan for step 4 can be straightforward and direct route to completing single simple improvement, or it may be more involved. The most effective approaches to executing the improvement may, be, may not be clear, and it will sometimes be necessary to design experiment that will test which options have most potential. Continual improvement. Step 5. Take action. In step 5, the plan for the improvement is act, act upon. This continue could involve the traditional waterfall style approach, but it could be more appropriate to follow agile approach by experimenting, iterating, changing directions, or even going back to previous steps. Did we get there? Too often, once an improvement plan is set in motion, it is assumed that the expected benefit has been achieved and that the attention can be redirected to the next initiatives. In reality, the path to the improvement is filled with various obstacles, so success must be validated. How do we keep the moment going? If the improvement has delivered the expected value, the focus on the initiative should shift to marketing these successes and reinforcing any new method introduced. This is ensure that the pro progress made will not be lost and uh, to build support and momentum for the next improvement. 